Good morning, New Beginnings. It's me, Pastor Danish House. Today is Wednesday, September 2nd, 2020. Thank you for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to make me part of your life today, and I'm delighted that you're part of my life as well. I didn't mention this yesterday, but yeah, I'm sporting uh, the new New Beginnings Christian Missionary Alliance Church polo shirt. Uh, I'm wearing the same shirt I was wearing yesterday, not the same polo, but the same style. I bought five of them uh, so I can have them for work days. Um, but uh, so if you see me in the same shirt day to day, it's, I am doing laundry. Uh, but uh, if you ordered a New Beginnings polo shirt, uh, then we've got those available for you. Make sure that you uh, stop by the church office or come to the uh, outdoor service this Sunday to pick it up. Um, shirts cost $20 a piece. Uh, that's how, how cheaply we were able to get them. And uh, we'd love to give you your shirt. They're awesome. Uh, today at 9.30 a.m., which is still 15 minutes away when I'm recording this, uh, there is a Ladies uh, Deeper Life group that's happening. I'm not positive if it's here in the building uh, or just on Zoom. Um, they were talking about starting back up in September uh, live and in person, but I'm not sure if that meant this uh, Wednesday or if it starts next Wednesday. Um, but that is happening uh, today at 9.30, um, either in person or and on Zoom or just Zoom. What is definitely happening tonight is uh, the first um, first session of our End Times Bible Study, which will be at 7 o'clock p.m., uh, and that will be both live and in person here uh, at Arlington Reformed Church and on Zoom. If you'd like an invitation to the Zoom uh, version of the Bible study, if you'd like to tune in by Zoom, Send an email to the church, church at newbeginningscma.org. We're happy to send you an invitation. It's also the password and the meeting ID are printed in the bulletin uh, this week, so you can check it out there and just log in on your own. I'm um, looking forward to it. We have a lot of people signed up, um, and I'm looking forward to it. I've been very excited about starting this Bible study up with you. Well, I wasn't in church this Sunday. I was, uh, I was on vacation, but uh, I was very thankful that Ryan Wade... Um, uh, did the uh, box for the two weeks that I was gone. I enjoyed watching his uh, his uh, the, his box. This week's box was a, a large dice, you know, a large die. You remember that? A, a big, fluffy, uh, orange die. And uh, Ryan talked about how God is sovereign over all things and that, uh, that, that there is no chance in God's world. And he invited adults and children to draw a picture about how God is in control of all things. And we did get a picture in, and I want to show that picture. This picture is from Zaire. And uh, here's Zaire's picture saying that God controls all things. Um, and Ryan had said that God is in charge of the good things and of the bad things. And uh, so here Zaire lists uh, some of the good things and some of the bad things that God is in control of. Uh, the good things when we drive our car. God's in control, right? Amen. Praise God. Uh, sometimes I, I know that I'm not that in control, so I'm glad that God is there. Uh, number two, when I play with my family. That's a fun thing. When I'm obeying my parents. Number three, uh, bad things, though, God is in control of as well. COVID-19, right? Uh, death. And even when people fight, uh, God is still sovereign. God's not making them fight. God's not making people die, necessarily, and God certainly didn't you know, necessarily create COVID-19. But the fact that God is sovereign over all the world, the fact that God controls the whole world, means that none of this is outside of his control. He understands and he knows uh, what's going on. I love uh, Zaire's drawing of God's multicolored hand. I think that's fantastic. And of course, there's the, the, the sacred heart, the sacred wound of Jesus in the middle of that hand uh, with the cross. It's a beautiful, beautiful picture. Zaire, it's wonderful. I'm so excited about this picture. Thank you for drawing that and sending that in. Uh, hey, if you're an adult or a child and you want to send in a drawing to church at newbeginningcma.org, we'll be happy to show it here on the Daily Devotional video. Um, yeah, so I'm talking this week about spiritual refreshment. How can we be refreshed spiritually? I was refreshed spiritually by my vacation, you know, during my vacation time. And I started off on a Monday talking about Psalm 1 and how we can be like trees planted beside streams of water 
uh, bearing fruit in our season and with a leaf that doesn't wither. And the way we do that is by meditating on the law of the Lord. Um, Psalm 2 yesterday was about one of the things that can often break our feeling of peace, our feeling of refreshment. And that's the idea that, that somehow the political situation, the, the, the situation of governance uh, of the natural world in our lives, that somehow uh, one king or another king or one president or another president uh, is a make it or break it thing. And we talked about how God sits in heaven and he laughs at the schemes and the worries of men. Not unconcernedly, not, you know, carelessly, uh, but God laughs because it's funny how we think that somehow we're in control when rather God is the one who is, uh, is sovereign over all things. Well, Psalm 3 also has some things to say about spiritual refreshment, and I wanted to just touch on this uh, in Psalm 3. Psalm 3 says this, O Lord, how many are my foes? Many are rising against me. Many are saying of my soul, there's no salvation for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cried aloud to the Lord, and he answered me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke again, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of many thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek and break the teeth of the wicked. In Psalm 2, God, it's, uh, we heard that God sits enthroned in heaven and he laughs. And it could be easy to think that that is because God doesn't care about what's going on on this world. But he sits in heaven and he sort of, uh, by remote control, I mean, we have a couple of joysticks and he's controlling things in this world. But that's not, in fact, the way we ought to picture God. Uh, in this psalm, we have people questioning, oh, oh you know, there's no, no God's not going to help this guy. But the psalmist says in faith, you, O Lord, are a shield about me. You're a shield about me. On the opening slide, I have Captain America's shield. It, it's, it's, like, um, it's like God is, is a superhero, right? Uh, putting a shield around us, protecting us from harm. You are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. Lifter of my head, when your head is down and discouraged, God lifts your head uh, and gives you courage. God is not unconcerned. God is not disconnected. God actually is intimately involved in caring for us. Um, I cried aloud to the Lord and he heard me from his holy hill. God listens to our cry. I'll be talking more about that on Sunday. Verse 5, I lay down and slept. I woke again for the Lord sustained me. God's even concerned about giving you that rest and that spiritual refreshment. Even when 10,000 people are arrayed against you, you don't have to be afraid. You can still sleep. When COVID-19 or death or fighting, as uh, Zaire had on her uh, drawing, are against you, uh, you don't need to be afraid. You can still sleep in peace knowing that God is your shield. Brothers, sisters, I, I know the struggles that many of you are going through right now. Struggles with difficult uh, situations, struggles with your work, struggles with difficult spouses, struggles with uh, children, struggles with disease or ongoing chronic disease. Uh, it, can, it can really work you up, it can really make you agitated. It can be difficult to sleep. But you need to know that your God is a shield about you, that he will lift up your head, trust in him and sleep. Get the rest, get the refreshment that he offers because God is going to fight for you. That's one of the most refreshing things that we can know. Okay, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for your love for us. Thank you that you are intimately concerned about the details of our lives. Thank you, Lord, that uh, you are the lifter of our head, 
and you are a shield about us. With, I pray that you'd help us to lay ourselves down and sleep in trust in you, to know that you have things uh, well in hand. Lord, I pray for tonight's, uh, for today's Deeper Life group with the ladies. I pray that you bless them as they look into your word together and our encouragement to one another. And I pray for tonight's End Times Bible study, that it might be an encouragement and, and a strength to people that uh, we might learn and that we might not uh, be led astray and we might not be afraid uh, as we think about uh, the end times and specifically the joy of the return of Jesus. God, I pray that you would uh, bless Zaire. Thank you for the drawing that she made for us. I pray that you bless her and uh, encourage her in every way. And be with us as we prepare for our um, our open air service, our, our outdoor service on Sunday at 35 DeGarmo Road. I pray for good weather. Right now it's raining outside. I pray for good weather on Sunday. And I pray that it would be a great time of fellowship together and worship. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, New Beginnings, thank you so much for joining me for this daily update and devotional video. I'm glad you decided to hang out with me today, and I look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.